What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In in hell. <laughs>Anytime I step around, just shoot the jab out. Anytime I'm in close, just boom. Boom. Not to be hard, it keeps me at bay. Okay? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. There we go. That's it, that's better.
Good job. So I'm trying to just <laughs> try and get, trying to get you to reach out. You're trying to get yourself off balance. One thing you're doing when you throw that too, Man. it's just dropping down. Okay. Right. So I'm just trying to step back and throw it down top. You throw that hand there. I'm just trying to go boom because you're dropping that hand yeah. down. Okay. Straight back. Straight back. Push. Push. That was good. That was right. I was remote right there. That's it. Anytime he sets in ready, you make him pay for it. If it was a front kick, it was 45 fronts. Anytime. Alright? You're kind of letting me come in. Yeah. Make me pay for coming in. Okay? We're just going okay. for all body okay. Because you're open, same time. Boom, you should be, you throw, I'm throwing. Try to beat me in the middle. Okay. There you go. There we go. There we go, same time. Good work. That's where to push, baby. Hey! All right, 
right, guys. Well, there you have it. I mean, we had a great time sparring. That's a good training, good, good training session today. So how do you feel? Good. It's always good to get beat up by some different guys every now and again. And, uh, you know, just have somebody else to kind of tell me what I'm doing wrong. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can tell a whole lot of improvement just by the, you know, the three weeks you've been here. This is week number, week number three. So a uh, few days left, get some drilling and things like that. What made you want to come out here and do some training? Uh, That's I'd, the question. <laughs> I'd wanted to train with you for a while, but, uh, you know, after fights is kind of my time to go and, you know, experiment. And then, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't have anything lined up, so it's all right if I get banged up a little bit. So it's bit. like prime time to be able to go do that. And then I got the extra paycheck in there, so it's oh, yeah, a little yeah. easier financially, too. Gotcha. So. Yeah, you never want to go into a spot. And I don't know if you've been to spots where you walk in and feel like you have to fend for your life. <laughs> But we try not to be that way. I mean, we got some guys that kind of go a little bit, but we try not to beat the crap out of each other. No accidents this, this past three weeks, right? You feeling good? No injuries? Yeah, no. No injuries. Just, uh, you know, feet are sore from doing all this <laughs> footwork. But uh, Feet's a little banged up? Yeah. That's good. the thing. With the karate style, the moving, especially we got Mr. T hounding you over and over again, it tears your feet up a little bit. Just that extra movement that's something you're not used to can kind of tear your feet up. I swear the past two weeks, Chase has been coming here with his feet like taped up, wrapped up, because I uh, got blisters and it'll do it for sure. But you know, doing that movement and stuff will condition those feet up. But you felt great, man. I, you know, you're working both sides. And I don't know if you were doing that before you got here. Just from when I've seen you from the first day you got here till now, big difference. So the distance, the timing, everything felt really good. I know that um, hopefully you'll be making it out here more often. If you got any training camps, you're more than welcome to come out. But uh, I feel like we could, there's a, so much more that we could do. Oh my gosh. We, we just just touched on a little bit of movement and angle change and since you've been here. I just cannot wait to see the finished product. Like, you know, like Ryan Hall, for instance, you've done some work with him. Yeah, yeah. And I know he, did, did he mention coming here, training? He did actually, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan Hall. <laughs> Love you, brother. A lot of the movement stuff, the, the distance management, the angle changing. I know sometimes when you go back to the gym, obviously your coach is going to have you do what he want, whatever he has you do, but try not to forget the stuff that you worked on. I don't care if it's at home, if you're by yourself. A lot of the stuff that we do, you can do on your own. Mm -hmm. So just make, it, make sure you stick with it and keep drilling it every day. It work both sides. Yeah, Left side, right side. More tools in your arsenal, Chase. We're going to have you kicking people in the head in no time. <laughs> yeah. In no time. So keep up with that when you get back. So before we go, I just gotta wonder, I gotta ask you one more thing. Why the karate style? Why my style? Were you, were you interested? There's a lot of styles out there. What made you, what made you kinda wanna go this route? Uh, it's a couple things. Partially, you know, sparring with Ryan Hall, he's so hard to hit. He got a lot of that from you and then some other like karate type guys. But it's also kind of like similar body types. Like you're another kind of longer dude. And I wanna, you know, be able to uh, use the length effectively because I feel yes. like you do that. You're good in and out. Not getting hit too much was a big thing for me. You know, obviously I'm trying to work on that a lot. So awesome. I figured it was probably the best uh, style for it. Man, let me tell you, the <clears> things <throat> that we're, like I said, we just barely scratched the surface of what, you know, we can improve on. Mm. Um, so hopefully we'll see you back in here, man. Get in here as much as you can. Yeah. ASAP, because you got a home here now, bro. You're more yeah. than welcome to come anytime. Bring your honey. I know you got a honey. Bring the whole family and just move down to South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Chase. I appreciate everything, brother. Thank you. And uh, great, great time sparring with you. We've got to get you back out here. Yeah. 145, guys. Watch out for this guy. He's on point. He's going to be putting you to sleep, baby. But anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Throw some comments down below. we got to get as much likes as possible. Helps us with the channel. Bring the content to you. Don't forget to head over to Chase Hooper's Instagram. We'll be putting that in the link down below. And hit him with the follow, you guys. Making this good. Youngest guy in the UFC right now. 21 years old and already crushing people. Taking people's ankles and knees with him. And now chins. Catch y'all later. Thank you.